What's up, everybody? It's Jackie, here with my trusty side, Mike, Fifi O'Hara, and today we're playing The Sims 4. So, recently I've been trying to figure out what game I want to play. Um, I've been playing a lot of Stardew, but I wanted to stray away from Starboo for a bit. Starboo. Stardew for a bit. So, today we're going to be doing every outfit is a different style. So, I have my spinner here. Spinner has eight different styles. So... There are seven different styles in game, which I'm going to show you now. And those styles are basics, polished, preppy, rocker, country, my least favorite, hipster, boho, and I added goth on the phone. It took a while for me to get this video um, up and running correctly, so I just decided to do it on my phone. But I just wanted to show you guys to show you that proof that I am using a spinner and I'm not just picking the styles that I want. I am actually using a spinner, so these are random. Okay, so let's begin the challenge because I'm pretty pumped. So first, let's make a this person a female. Oh, those eyebrows though. Those eyebrows are a choice. Um, so why don't we fix our eyebrows quickly? Go from those bushy brows. Those brows remind me of Anne Hathaway's brows in The Princess Diaries. And it's just not... Like, pre... Pre-makeover. And the li <laughs> I'm just, like, fixing everything at this point. Ooh, I like that. Okay, I like her now. Cool. Okay. So, let's do the first... Let's spin the wheel. And decide what the everyday outfit, what the style is going to be. So let's spin the wheel. I don't know if you could see that, but I got hipster. So let's see if we could try to find a hipster hair. Um, I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use my custom content. Now I think we're going to go for this one. Yeah, and we're going to keep her hair black, I think. Black is very cute. I may change it after, but let's just go to the styles. So let's click on the style. So our style is hipster. So what does the game classify as hipster? That is not hipster. If anything, that's bohemian. That's boho. <laughs> that is not hipster. That also could be old grandma style. This is this would have been perfect in the nifty knitting pack or the, the AKA the love to knit pack. It's true name. That would have been perfect. That's hipster. Ooh, I like that. Let's keep that. That's hipster. Let's get rid of this hideous, hideous eyeball ring. Because it's just... It's a travesty in the game. <laughs> the glasses are very hipster. So, I wish I had better glasses, though. Um, let's do... Let's do these glasses. Which swatch is good? Those. So this is our hipster look. Okay. So formal attire. So we spun boho. Oh, I like that. I like that from Get Famous. Okay, we're working with something here. It could act as like a two-piece dress. Oh, we have a matching... Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. So now... We have an outfit, ladies and gentlemen. We have matching bottom and top. Should we change her hairstyle to- Yeah, we should change her hairstyle. Give her a little bit of makeup. So this is the clay- Fun fact, this is the Clayify version by, I believe, Coat Cat of this um, hair- This outfit hair by Nightcrawler. Oh, I like the teal. Let's go with the teal. And let's go with a sandal. We have these from Movie Hangout. Oh, those from Movie Hangout are actually pretty cute, but do they contend with Laundry Day? I feel like that's more formal. So we're going to keep it at that. We're going to keep it at the black. And then let's go and do her makeup. Let's first get her Kajiko eyelashes on her. I feel like a hip, a bohemian person. I keep I keep trying to say hipster. I don't know. I'm just stuck on the hipster one. A bohemian person would wear very light makeup. 
the very earthy, very like, you know, very all natural, peace and love, even though that's a hippie. <laughs> Uh, I feel like a bohemian person is very similar in outlook. Ooh, yes. So very earthy tones. Let's use the MAC blush since that's one of my favorites. Oh, that is gorgeous. Okay. Let's try a MAC lipstick. And oh, yes, baby. I'm feeling it. The red. I think that actually matches. No. It's, it's a bright red on her dress. No, but there is some pinks, though. Uh, I think, I think that actually works. That actually works. I'm gonna keep it at that. And then just add an eyeliner. Just a slight eyeliner. <laughs> just a slight one. <laughs> a very, very slight diamond studded one. Why not? I always go with this one. Oh, yeah. Let's just go with old, as Vixella says, old faithful. Okay, so perfect. That is her finished look. Awesome. So now let's roll for athletic. Oh, that is cute already, but let's see what we get. And we get country. How the heck am I going to do a country inspired athletic outfit? Oh, Lord help me, Jesus. Okay, so no makeup for this one. Ooh. Yeah, let's keep this country. This is country for sure. Okay. I mean, it could go for other things, but I feel like the braid is very country. So let's do... Let's see what happens if we leave it at athletic. What's country for athletic? Probably nothing, right? Let's see. So... Three, two, one, go. Okay. The vest. This is very country from the camp. The campfire pack. Um, uh, outdoor retreat. There we go. This. If these were shorts, I would say definitely. But you know what? I think what I'm gonna do. Well, maybe. Maybe this could be like hiking. So maybe we'll put hiking boots. Let's give her these and maybe that blue swatch will match or how about the red one? No, we'll give her the blue swatch. So she's not much of an athletic person, whatever her name is in, in, um, in her regular town. But when she does go to Grand Falls, she loves a good hike. She is an outdoorsy girl and she loves to hike those trails. I did go hiking when I went to Maine recently. I went to a place called Cadillac Mountain and it was gorgeous. The views were absolutely gorgeous. I was just very hesitant of hiking just because I didn't have the right shoes for it. I had sneakers, but they weren't like hiking sneakers or hiking boots. And the rocks that we were climbing, my boyfriend and I were like so high um, that it was very hard to find your footing. You had to be very careful. So I was a little bit hesitant but it ended up being fun. And is there a solid one we could do? Let's do the black. Oh, okay. Gorgeous. Very nice. Or do we need the hat? I feel like it's ruining the vibe. I mean, you do need it against... No, you know what? We do need it because you need it to protect against the sun, which is what I had. I had my touristy main hat so you could tell that I was a tourist. So yeah, we're going to keep it at that. Okay, sleepwear. We get basics. Which I believe is base game. But I'm not totally sure. I feel like we could get away with that. That could be like a very formal pajama outfit. <laughs> uh, these I could get away with. These I can get away with. Um, I mean... I mean, yeah. I guess that's a look. I mean, it's pajama, so it's not really that important, but it is basic. So let's just keep it at this and then give her a different hairstyle since I don't think you'd wear your hair like this. The That's more basic. So let's just keep it at that. And she is looking cute. We're going to do a goth party outfit. Now I'm leaning toward the pack. What's that pack called? Damn it. 
I'm gonna go for the realm. There we go. The realm of magic pack. Because believe me, I think the realm of magic pack is going to show up for party. Let's do this shirt. Um, let's go with more dark colors. I'm not a fan of that at all. Uh, I like that. I think that's very pretty. And then let's do... Ooh, should we do this skirt? Yes, let's do it. <laughs> okay, so... Let's actually keep it... Let's do the black so that it matches with the top. And then we're going to give her the pumps that I never use from Discover University. Yes! Okay, they're under boots. It's these. They're boots. And let's do... Let's do red to mix it up. And then we're going to do tights. Because so I feel like tights would be very punk, very goth. Not mixing up the two. Uh, they, they are their own respective peoples. Let's do these since I never use these either. And they fit perfectly in this situation. Um, and let's keep it at black. Or gray, whatever this is. Oh yeah, that's goth. <laughs> if there are goth people watching, I'm so sorry if you don't think this is goth. Like, I don't mean to offend you. Or offend the way you dress. So, oh, let's give her a dark blush. Like, the, the 1980s, like, just smear your face with the darkest colors ever kind of style. And then we'll do, I think we'll do the two-tone. Ooh. <laughs> you know what this actually reminds me of? These, this lip color reminds me of the Kim Possible lips. That like Kim Possible and Shigo have that are like two different tones. I swear this this is what that reminds me of. That actually really goes. I like that. I'm going to keep that. So let's spin our wheel. Rocker. So we need a rocker bathing suit. Um, I think that's going to be pretty easy. I'm picturing. It's not realistic, but I'm picturing denim shorts. Ooh, the yeah, let's use these. I never use this one. <laughs> this is just a video of things that I never use in casts. Ooh, let's do this one. I feel like that's going to be very rocker. Let's actually keep it. No, I don't like the black. Let's keep it at white. Should I keep it at the clayified version? I feel like that. Yeah, that's very rocker. Uh, I'm gonna stick to the clayified version of the Nightcrawler hair. And I'm gonna give her a cowboy hat. I like this swatch. So awesome. That is her swimwear outfit. Not, again, not very ideal. Oh, let's just give her some quick sandals. Again, it's not a very... practical look. But this is what I envision when I envision Rocker. The, the bathing suit, I say the top works. I can definitely say that the top works as a bathing suit outfit. Let's get rid of this. Um, let's just give her plain old sandals. Or these, like the loose sandals. Black. Yeah. Hot weather. And hot weather will give her makeup as well as winter. So let's spin the wheel. Polished. And what we're going to do is we're going to give her a custom content piece that I really like. We're not even going to go to polished. Oh, oh, honey, that is so pretty. But no, that is not hot weather. I feel like I want to give her that one. No, I want to give her this one. And I want to give her a pattern. Maybe I'll give her that. Which is very pretty. Maybe these are very pretty. Does she have anything on right now? No. Thinking of giving her these wedges. Not in that swatch. But maybe... Maybe the white with, and the cream lining. That, I think, really goes. That's very pretty. So I feel like a polished person... Let's keep it at that one. I feel like a polished person would have very light makeup. And then let me give her... A necklace. I think I'm going to give her the one from 
Tiny Living to complete the look. Yeah. I feel like this one from Tiny Living, like the rose gold one, really goes with this. We're going to keep it at that. And that is actually really cute. That's one of my favorite outfits, just because of this dress. Okay, so our last one, since this was polished, is going to be cold weather. It's going to be preppy. So this one's going to be pretty easy. I feel like the skinny jeans are very preppy. So why don't we just keep it at that? And then we'll give her, we'll give her Uggs. I feel like that's very preppy. This is going to be a more modern look. So let's go to boots. Yeah. And then let's just change the swatches. Um, what goes best with her and this outfit? Purple. Purple's very cute. I kind of like this pairing, but... I don't know. When you look closer at it, it's like, uh... The, the pink and the purple kind of clash. I like that, but then let's change her Uggs. To like a cream color one at least. I don't like the pink. I don't like it being too matchy matchy. Let's give her pearl earrings. I'm just picturing every single girl I went to Catholic school with. I went to um, an all girls private school. And I feel like this was the look in the winter. Like the, the very cashmere scarf with the big pearl earrings like this. And I actually really like that color. Very pastel pink mint green and then for preppy for preppy i'm gonna give her makeup do i want to go with the nude color again for her lips yeah i want to go with the nude color again unless i do pink no absolutely not let's do the nude color for her lips and do i need anything else i mean that's pretty much it so yeah, that's the challenge, guys. So let's just quickly go over the outfits again. So this was our hipster look for her everyday outfit. This was our formal look. Her Our bohemian formal look, which I have to say, I did a pretty good job, I think. It's not super bohemian, but I feel like a bohemian person would wear this um, to a formal event. Like, if they wanted to get a little bit more dressed up. Our country athletic, which I'm actually super proud of myself for this one. I feel like I was really stumped when I saw it. But then, as soon as I got the shirt from the camping pack, whatever. I'm not going to even bother at this point to say the actual name of the pack. I was like, oh, damn. Hiking is an actual, like, it's it, it's athletic. You know, it's it's exercise. So, I'm very proud of myself for coming up with that. And I actually don't like the hat. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of the hat. I feel like the hat kind of ruins it a little bit. Then, we have our basics. Our basic, basic, basic pajamas, which are all white. So, I decided to go with that. I originally thought basics were base game, but no, it just means like... In my mind, very like sterile, very plain looking. For party, we have our goth look, which I'm actually really liking right now. This is actually pretty cool. I like the way, I love her anime hair. I like the two-tone Kim Possible lips. So far, my favorites are the, um, the country athletic outfit and this party one. Swimwear is country. Which, again, this was going to be a challenge as well, but I think we did a pretty good job. Hot weather. Polished. Very, very pretty. Very, very pretty. I think the prettiest outfit that I ever put together in this challenge. Very lovely makeup. Very nice necklace and floppy hats. Very matchy-matchy. And lastly, we have our cold weather outfit, which is preppy. And I'm really liking this so far. She kind of looks like Angela Pleasant from Discover University. And I'm really liking that. I love how the hair ties in with the outfit. Uh, the Uggs. Like I said, my inspiration was um, some of the girls from high school. I went to a... It was basically a prep school. So I was like, okay, preppy, prep school. Those two things go, right? Okay. 
So yeah, that's the end of the video. Um, if you like this challenge, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you want to get access to my videos when they come up. And I'll see you real soon. Also, if you want me to do another Sims cast challenge, type in the comments below which one you want to see. Bye guys!